The formation of the universe and its rate of expansion, the location of the Earth in the Milky Way, the kind of light emitted by the sun, the viscosity of water, the levels of the gases in the atmosphere, and a great many other systems with their extraordinarily delicate balances show that the universe very definitely cannot be the product of chance. Every planet in the universe, large and small, is the critically important part of a larger order. Not one of their positions in space or any of their movements is random. On the contrary, their countless details known to us so far have been created and especially adjusted for a particular purpose. Of all the innumerable factors influencing the balances in the universe, a change in the position of just one planet is enough to bring chaos. But these balances are never upset. The universe continues on in its perfect order with no problems. All of this is a result of God's supreme power in creation. He who created the seven heavens in layers, you will not find any flaw in the creation of the all-merciful. Look again. Do you see any gaps? Then look again and again. Your sight will return to you, dazzled and exhausted. The universe's perfect structure led even Charles Darwin, the architect of the theory of evolution, to admit that there is no room for chance in its creation. As he wrote, This conviction in the existence of God follows from the extreme difficulty, or rather impossibility, of conceiving this immense and wonderful universe, including man with his capacity of looking far backwards and far into futurity as the result of blind chance or necessity. Another vitally important balance in the universe is the distance between the moon and the earth. That distance is of the greatest importance to the survival of life on Earth and in terms of the maintenance of many other balances. Indeed, the slightest variation in the distance between the two bodies could give rise to significant imbalances. For example, if the moon were much closer to the Earth, it would crash into our planet. If much farther away, it would move off into space. If it were much closer, the tides that the moon causes on the Earth would become dangerously larger. Ocean waves would sweep across low-lying sections of the continents. A more distant moon would reduce tidal action, making the oceans more sluggish. Stagnant water would endanger marine life, yet it is that very marine life that produces the oxygen that we breathe. That could lead to the disappearance of all life. The distribution of heavenly bodies in the universe is created exactly to conform to the needs of human life. These distances directly affect the orbits and even the existence of the planets. The distribution of the heavenly bodies in space and the huge empty spaces between them are essential to life on Earth. In his book, The Symbiotic Universe, American astronomer George Greenstein explains the importance of the distances between heavenly bodies. Had the stars been somewhat closer, astrophysics would not have been so very different. The fundamental physical processes occurring within stars, nebulas, and the like would have proceeded unchanged. 
the appearance of our galaxy as seen from some far distant vantage point would have been the same. About the only difference would have been the view of the nighttime sky from the grass on which I lie, which would have been yet richer with stars. And oh yes, one more small change. There would have been no me to do the viewing. All these facts show that there are perfect systems in the universe, consisting of most delicate balances that are essential for life. There can be no doubt that these cannot be the work of an order established by chance or unconscious atoms. The entire universe is full of evidence of the matchless knowledge and infinite might of God, the Lord of the worlds. In the Quran, God reveals that God, there is no God but Him, the living, the self-sustaining. He is not subject to drowsiness or sleep. Everything in the heavens and the earth belongs to Him. Who can intercede with Him except by His permission? He knows what is before them and what is behind them, but they cannot grasp any of His knowledge save what He wills. His footstool encompasses the heavens and the earth, and their preservation does not tire him. He is the Most High, the Magnificent. <laughs>